Well, hello friends. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am doing very well because I just came back from a lovely trip to Hamburg. Uh, I've been away for four entire days and three nights. I left uh, last Wednesday in the morning and I came back yesterday evening, late evening, two and a half hours later than planned. Thank you, Deutsche Bahn, but let's move on. Normally I unpack after, straight after the trip as soon as I come home so the thing gets done and I don't have to worry about it, but it's because I came back very late. I was tired. I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to go to bed and call it a day. So I thought, because I have to unpack today, I can do it on camera so you guys can see what I brought to this trip with me. Like I said, uh, four full days and three nights. The purpose of the trip, you know, was just, you know, holiday. I normally gladly, uh, if I have the occasion, travel by myself, but this time I was with a travel companion and it was really fun. We had a lot of fun. Normally I travel light and this time was no exception. I knew that the weather was going to be very hardcore, very cold, possibly with rain or even snow. So I knew that I needed to pack smartly. This is the bag that I brought. Um, it's a backpack that I got recently. Long story short, I needed a new backpack and I decided to get this. It's from Dakine. It's a regular sized backpack, I think 25 or 26 liters. So it's perfect for every day and for these kind of trips as well, because it can surprisingly fit a lot of things. I'm going to start with the outside pockets first, because you know, it's the first thing that I have in front of me. Obviously my water bottle on one side, because I don't go anywhere without this. And an item that turned out to be a pretty useless during this trip was the umbrella. The weather wasn't the greatest, um, but I never reached for it. I didn't bring it with me when I was out and about. It did snow very heavily for an entire day, but I think one of the most beautiful things in life is to walk in snow. Um, so why would you use an umbrella? <laughs> I think it was lovely to snuggle up in my jacket, pop my hood on and just walk in the snow. So I might have used this, but I didn't, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Then I'm going to go straight into the big compartment, which as you can see, like it fits a lot. There's a lot of things going on here, but still. I fitted perfectly with room to spare everything that I needed for this trip. So I brought my flip flops for, you know, after the shower in the hotel room, these were needed. I have this little snack pouch, which is very convenient because when you don't have any snacks, you can just roll it up and it packs really small. It's basically like a little soft canvas that it's like lined on the inside so you can even pack sandwiches that kind of stuff and i baked some snacks for the trip for me and my travel partner so i put them in here there's an apple left in there but this is super convenient and i love to carry this with me whenever i go on trips this is my toiletry bag uh, I'm probably I'm not gonna go through everything that's in here because it's pretty standard what I carry Maybe I'll insert a clip so you can see what I normally bring on a trip uh, with me And also shout out to this toiletry bag it is insanely compact and I bought it at the drugstore like last year for I think four euros or five euros it's perfect it's pa it packs super small and compact but the amount of things that this thing can hold is insane so great we did travel by train so not by plane um so it wasn't really necessary to do this but i brought this transparent little bag that it's normally the type of bag that you used for liquids whenever you travel by plane and you already have your carry-on bag, but I thought this would be a smart solution for my contact lenses. I use dailies, so... And also I put in here like my little um, scraping sponge. Hello friends, this is me from the future editing this video. Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking when I was filming this. Obviously, what I meant was exfoliating sponge, not scraping sponge. 
Excuse me for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience. Yours truly. And uh, I also had my little pouch with my bar soap and my uh, solid shampoo. Uh, just in case they were still wet when I packed my backpack to come back. This is a packing cube with my pajamas and my undergarments. I brought so many socks. <laughs> It was an insane amount. I'm pretty aware of that, but I tend to get really cold feet. So for four days, I brought eight pairs of socks. I've worn two pairs of socks each day, one on top of one another, to keep my feet warm, and it was perfect. I never had cold feet, so it was great. So in here, I've put all of my undergarments, like extra underwear, that kind of stuff. My PJs, which you will find here, and then I've also packed this one, which is some sort of like a little laundry bag where I've put all the dirty clothes uh, so it would stay nice and separate from the rest. You don't want stinky socks or like used panties to stink up the rest of your clothes and the rest of your stuff. So I always pack like a little bit of a laundry bag and then just to avoid any difficulties in packing when it's time to come back. Like I've put it in the packing cube so everything is compressed and I don't have any space issues. In this little pouch, I had feminine care products. Um, if you menstruate, then you know that there's nothing worse than getting your period when you're being out and about and not being prepared. So better to be safe than sorry again. So here I ended up packing, packing my necessary stuff just in case I would get my period. Didn't got my period whilst I was away, but you know, again, it's better to be prepared. Prescription glasses, a little foldable tote. This is from Ikea. I paid 70 cents for it. <laughs> I asked a friend to put a little zipper on it and this, I also showed it in the what I've packed for my trip to Greece, trip to Greece video that I filmed last summer. Um, I brought this so that I could have like a little bag whenever I was exploring the town so I could toss all of my essentials in here, water bottle, wallet, everything. The zipper would make everything nice and secure. The good thing about this bag is that despite being insanely cheap, <laughs> it's like very resistant and it's also made of like a thicker nylon material. So whenever it was snowing or the weather was like, you know, a little humid and stuff, then my stuff wouldn't get wet. You can fold it up really small so it takes almost no space in my bag. And then I had the rest of my clothes. An extra sweater, a dress, very, very thick tights, and an extra long sleeve. And basically this is what I had on as extra clothes. So a thick cardigan, a long sleeve shirt, and my black skinny jeans. In the little pocket here, I had some miscellaneous items like hand sanitizer, phone charger, uh, power bank, which I didn't use, ibuprofen, just in case I would get my period and I would have very bad cramps, some ginger lemon candies for, you know, little. I had a little bit of sore throat, so I thought these could be handy, and they were, some mints, lip balm, and apparently I thought it was a very good idea to pack a bottle opener. In the biggest pocket here in the front, house keys, wallet, hand cream. I am literally drinking this these days because my hands are always so dry. So I, whenever I, wherever I go, I also bring with me hand cream, notebook, and pen so I could, you know, do a little morning brain dump, morning pages, and then a book, which I brought for the train trip, for the train travel portion of this trip. And that was pretty much it. There you have it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, share it, uh, leave a comment down below and consider subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.